Google is again redesigning their sites uh, just a little bit. If you uh, haven't seen my last video yet, uh, go check it out. It'll show uh, that Google has actually redesigned their uh, menu bar that has been at the top of most of their services. Uh, and actually, they just redesigned it not too long ago. Uh, they It kind of was a white background, and now they changed it to a more Android style with a darker background. Uh, and they are now redesigning it yet again, uh, and they're kind of making it fit the YouTube look a little bit more. And uh, You could definitely see some uniformity in all of their services. So if you haven't seen the latest video, uh, check that out. That basically shows off uh, the new uh, style of the menu bar. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get it before the release. So right now it is not released uh, publicly yet. Uh, however, one person, uh, Maximilian Majewski, I probably bombed that pronunciation, uh, but he found a way to uh, enable that new menu bar right now. So you don't have to wait for Google to release it to everyone. You can try it out right now. And so here is how to do that. You will need either Firefox or Google Chrome, and I will show you how to do it in both of those browsers. Uh, first, we'll start in Firefox. So in Firefox, you will need to download an add-on, and that add-on is called Cookies Manager Plus. After you download this add-on, uh, you will need to restart Firefox, and then after you restart Firefox, go to google.com, and so this will bring you to the main uh, search screen. You're going to go to the top left corner and click on the little Firefox uh, Windows 7 style menu. And you will go to Web Developer and then Cookies Manager Plus. Now uh, this window will show you all the cookies uh, that are in Firefox right now. And you need to search for the PREF cookie. Uh, the name of the cookie is P-R-E-F in all caps. So just type it in the search bar and it'll pull up similar cookies. So you can see there's a few uh, with the name PREF. So the one you want is the one that says google.com for the website. So once you find that, just click on it to select it. And then you're going to go down to the edit button. And once you select edit, you'll be in the edit cookie window. And what you want to do is you want to edit this content field. So there's actually a strand that you will plug into this field. So that means you need to delete everything that's in this field and we'll put in what we want. So I'm just going to select this all and I'm going to copy it and I'm going to put it somewhere uh, where I will have it. And so I'm actually going to make a note uh, using my Sticky Notes app that I have on Windows 7. You can really put it anywhere. You can make a Word document and put it in there. But just so you have the original ID that was inside of that field. So you can revert back to uh, normalcy if you ever wanted to. Uh, so after you retain that strand, you can go ahead and delete it. In the description of this video will be the strand that you will paste in. And again, this strand is courtesy of Maximilian Majewski and MakeUseOf.com. Uh, the links to them will be in the description. Thank you guys for uh, publishing this for us to use. So the, after you put the new strand in there, go ahead and press save to save those changes and apply them. And you are uh, basically finished now. So I'm going to close out of Cookie Manager Plus and I'm going to refresh Google. And you already see this blaring uh, gray bar at the top. To get the bar in Google Chrome, the process is very similar uh, however, there is a different add-on that you will need, and therefore a couple different steps. So the add-on you will need is called Edit This Cookie. It is available in the Chrome Web Store right here. Uh, just go ahead and download that. And once you download that and add it to Chrome, uh, you will go ahead and go to google.com, which will bring you to the main search page. And you will right-click anywhere, like right here, and then one of the options will be to edit cookies. So you will click on edit cookies and that will open a new tab 
And this time it only shows the uh, cookies for Google.com, which makes it a little easier compared to Firefox, which shows all the cookies in Firefox. Uh, so you want the PREF, pref cookie, uh, for Google.com. Click on that, and then uh, change the ID. So again, I will copy this, and uh, if it were me, I would put it somewhere uh, where you know I have it for future use, like this little sticky note that I made. So now you can delete it and replace it with uh, the ID strand that is in the description. And after you paste that value, you will go all the way to the bottom of the page. And this is where I had a little trouble. I didn't see this button at first, and I couldn't figure out how to save the changes. Uh, but I finally found this button down here. It's very subtle. Submit cookie changes. Once you click on that, the screen will flash a little bit. And uh, at that point, you can close out and refresh and then you will see the new bar in Google Chrome. Uh, so uh, for more about the entire Google bar uh, check out my last video there will be an annotation of that in the uh, end of this video and also in the description of this video as well. So thank you guys for watching and uh, like this video if you liked it and again thank you to the uh, kind folks who published this uh, kind of hack uh, credit to them is given in the description. Go check them out, and I will see you guys later.